Colonel Vike, Lieutenant Colonel Dan. Subarashish! Subscribe, please! Hello, YouTube! Today I'm coming to you live with another video. Uh, the lore teaser where the miracle began came out. Uh, I've watched it before, but I kind of want to look at all the characters. Uh, break it down if there's anything interesting we can talk about and uh, yeah, I'm very curious about this. So let's have a look at these um, Let's jump in Okay, what if it, any further authorized attempt at accessing the database will trigger the full force of the internal defense system This is not a threat, but a statement you have been warned. Do we know who's running the internet? Um, I'm not sure defense system I wonder what the defense system is. Phew, internet's impressive. I had to use ghost to hack in. Ghost? I feel like we've heard of the name ghost before. Am I crazy? Let me see. Uh, ZZZ ghost. I'm pretty sure we heard of that. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to look it up. Here lies Phyton with the sun god's chariot fared. Um, yeah, I, I, we talked about that before, right? Um, Phyton was the, uh, Phyton was the son of the god. No, the son of the son. And he wanted to prove himself, so he asked his father if he could, um, prove his strength by using his chariot. And so the sun god gave him his chariot, uh, but essentially Phaeton couldn't control it. And then Zeus, because uh, Phaeton was causing a carnage, had to intervene with his lightning bolt and essentially just fucked up Phaeton. So I don't know if he killed Phaeton or something, but essentially uh, it went poorly. This level of security was unexpected. And though greatly he failed, more greatly he dared. Yep. Stay alert. Understood. Go, Yokai. Start corrupting the database firewall. See, Ghost, Yokai, we heard of those names before. I'm pretty sure we heard of those names before. Um, are they some of the squads? I don't remember if they're some of the squad or some of the, uh, the Void Hunters. We have read-only access to surface files. Data corruption initiated. Okay. Hollow traits. An all devouring disaster with chaotic space, monsters, and etheric matter. Outdated info. But that's all the public needs to know. Okay. Anything else? Long Interesting. So that means that implied that we know way more about how the holo function. It's just not something that they're that they're willing to divulge the public. Okay, interesting. Term exposure leads to corruption, changing intelligent life into ethereals. We knew that. New Eridu mines etheric matter and converts it into energy, using the Sheyu pillars to transport it. With this system in place, New Eridu has any hollows within its borders under complete control. <laughs> complete control? The audacity. Oh, corruption is... Okay, so this is another public lie, essentially. So they... Um, the hollows transform people stuck in it into monsters. We know that from the main story. We're using the ether inside it to convert into energy through pipelines. What's interesting here, it kind of reminds me of uh, Honkai Back Third, where they use the sea of data, sea of quantum, um, like the, the, the matter in there, the data matter in there, they transform it into energy uh, from the part two of um, Honkai Impact. Uh, so it's very interesting. It kind of reminds me of that. Uh, albeit the problem here is that the hollows are expanding and way more dangerous as the Sea of Data. Uh, the Sea of Data doesn't really leak anywhere so far. Um, I guess it could be reminiscent to the shadows. Uh, there is the, the Ten Faces of Misery, uh, which is the, like, the, the, the source of fear, all of the different shadow energy, where you, there's an equivalent exchange where people trade their fear into essentially anything they want. Uh, but essentially, it strengthened the shadow over and over again until they're just going to take full control and essentially kind of transform themselves into a god. So that's pretty bad, obviously. So I could see uh, kind of a connection there. It's almost complete. 
getting deep database access. Oh, you're right, Tomer. Those are the names we heard when we connected to the strong box through the proxy bang boo. You are correct. There was like ghosts, yokai, uh, and way more like um th there were many type of like um folklore kind of monsters. Essentially a like ghost but for different kind of folklore, I think. Uh, ups, tops, tops, tops. I don't know what this is. Uh, but here we definitely have the fall of the old capital, which was Eridu, right? Uh, Rosetta Data. So the Rosetta Data is what we know. This is what they use in PopSec. Um, maybe not only in PopSec, but Rosetta Data is essentially what allows uh, the government to create carrots, I believe. This is what allows them to... Um, understand the holos and be able to create map to navigate out of it or in it oh, that's a lot of key terms even ones on us let's see huh? the primary index internet database this kind of reminds me of in Genshin Impact where there's a lot of books uh that are like fairy tales but actually they're fairy tales because it's a way to hide true information inside fairy tale it's like a camouflage that way it cannot be manipulated through airman soul so i wonder if there's going to be some aspect to to this game that's going to be similar where like movies because we are just we are taking care of a, a movie store if the movies are actually gonna be referring to real event that happened uh but in a way that the government doesn't like clamp down on you essentially why did you close the index there's no time for games fairy search for preset keywords killjoy the city defenders search complete okay hmm. is founding report key players in the suppression of the catastrophe First, the third generation head of the Hoshimi family who took down the exaltist overseer. So that's his Miyabi. That we saw her. Pretty impressive. I wonder how her successors are doing. No, wait. That was the... Miyabi is the descendant of that person. The Sunbringer. Oh my god. <laughs> I love her so much. Holy crap. She needs to be playable and I need to have her. She looks amazing. Actually, her design kind of reminds me of um, Art Knight's kind of design. Man, she looks so Next, badass. Lady Sunbringer, the former CEO of Marcel Group, who eradicated the Hive Lord Hollow in the sky. The Hive Lord Hollow in the sky. That kind of reminds me of Naneve or the recent Flying Hollow. Uh, holo monster um but yeah there's a the hive holo is a kind of categorization for some of the serial monsters so uh, i'm very i'm very um intrigued by this character i will know more about them that wasn't miyabi before that was the uh, this character is not miyabi i think it's their miyabi is a descendant of that character i think these characters might be very old she invited Bang Boo? Based! Insane! She had the best taste. She knew what to do. Joyous? The of the investigation guild, leader Joyous. Interesting. What's written in the back? Oh, introducing. Introducing Joyous. No. Yeah, Joyous. Then the ace of the investigation guild, leader Joyous. Yeah. The one who went through the divine maze and created the standard for hollow exploration routes. Okay. Colonel Vike, <laughs> Lieutenant Colonel Dan. Suburashish! Look! Colonel Vike, Lieutenant Colonel Dan. Look at her! She's so pretty! She has wings! And the girl on the left 
that is so cool too and that guy in the back too like this guy there's like her him and then her and the leader of the Falcon Hain mercenary troop. They alone pushed the Dark Wall 37 kilometers back. They pushed the Dark Wall 70 kilometers back. So from what we know, the Hollows, um, the more you kill ethereal creatures inside, uh, the more it's going to retract, right? So if they push the Dark Wall, I assume the Dark Wall is probably the name of a massive Hollow. Um, and so if they pushed it that far back, that means they eliminated a shit ton of monsters, essentially, right? No comment. No need. Look at the next line. Commend these seven heroes deep. The mayor established a new title of honor. Void Hunter. The Void Hunters, okay. They were the hunters of disaster, the defenders of the city. Wait. Yeah, we knew about that because uh, when Miyabi showed up, they did mention she was a Void Hunter, right? So actually, maybe she's the... No, I think she's a descendant. If I recall correctly, the seventh is... Here, Professor Arke, the founder of Helios Academy, responsible for discovering the common characteristics of Hollows, entered Hollow Zero to seek out the truth. The Professor. He looks so different. And the thing is, like, all the others, like, they still look human, humans or robotic, like androids, or, like, animalistic, like the uh, Thrins, 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 I don't remember the name, but, like, the anthropomorphic humans, animals, whatever. But this one, it's just, like, his head is on fire, like, or his head is fire. So I wonder if this is a representation of what he is. Or this is how he became after being the Hollow for too long. But like, this is so strange. It's very different from all the other characters we have. As of the time this document was sealed, Arke had yet to return from Hollow Zero. This document is from Eridu's time. That professor's been missing for an entire era. Yeah. It's decided we'll upload our package here to this database. Got it. Ginny, pack up and start uploading. So what's interesting here is that, um, yeah, all the characters they mentioned here were characters from the last era, right? So that when, that was when Eridu existed. Um, so that means that obviously the girl we saw here is not the current Miyabi. It's just the... I still don't have a word. Anyway, Miyabi is the descendant of that Void Hunter. Um, now, what did she say here? Got it. Genie, pack up and start okay, Genie. Yeah, Genie was one of them. It was Ghost, Genie, Yokai, I think. So Eridu Ruin. So that's the old Eridu, Holo Zero, the Expansion Zone. We've got the Chasm here. I wonder what created the Chasm. And then New Eridu is here. We can see some of the hole inside the city. You now. Wait for who can oh, Fairy was one of them. So they said they uploaded the package, right? And here they're uploading Genie initiated, but Ghost, Yokai, and Fairy are still offline. Okay. Wait, did they all go online here? Let me see. Let's go frame by frame here. Because it was kind of hard to say, it went very fast. Eridu ruins? Yeah, Eridu was the, the old city. Upload initiated. Upload initiated. Ghost still says offline. And then it disappears. And here we see upload initiated for Yokai, but then offline. Upload initiated. And this one doesn't say upload initiated. So did something happen to Fairy and that's why we have it with us? Maybe the others got uploaded. In the package got uploaded. And Fairy didn't upload and that's why fairy was in the 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 driver the the stick driver and that's how we ended up with fairy instead of it going where it was supposed to go hmm intriguing very intriguing. I'm really looking forward to seeing, like, I don't know, that seems to be from the Pyrrhus era. So I'm wondering if those characters still exist in our world, because that's a long time ago, right? Um, hopefully this exists because they look incredibly badass. 
Um, they say previous era, but like the previous era could have been five years ago, you know, so uh, who fucking knows? Hopefully we get to meet them. Hopefully they get to be playable because some of them look absolutely fucking awesome. Um, the Sunbringer, Lady Sunbringer looks amazing. Um, and then the girl with the wings kind of reminds me of Elysia, but I mean, yeah, I I mean, yeah, Elysia from Kind of Pack 3rd, if you don't know her, she's great. Uh, this lady actually kind of reminds me, uh, I guess it's just a purple and like there's a bit of red in here. Like kind of reminds me of May, but who knows. Anyway, yeah, I really like this uh, this little teaser. Uh, I hope we get to, to learn more from those characters in the future. Uh, yeah, anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you're expecting in the future. And let me know which character you would want to be playable the most. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all the good good. And you can catch me on Twitch or Discord at Kitty Cassie. I'll see you next time.